Hi folks, well um, this is, I'm not really sure what this is going to be called, but, um, but basically I'm back at it with my cabbage, but this time instead of canning it um, in a salted brine, brine, get my word out, um, I really missed last year not having large square pieces for uh, sort of ramen noodles and stews and soups. I, I really missed it. So I thought, okay, I've completely forgotten that I needed to do it. Um, so in a minute, I'm actually going to show you how I did. Right, so um, with this here that I've got, I'm going to be covering this with salt and getting as much water out of it as possible. I'm going to add my carrots, shredded carrots and um, bags of peppers and I'm going to put that in here and, and can it straight away uh, because for me um, I like to eat this raw once I've canned it, the kind of um, Eastern European way because I'm going to be doing these two different ways okay just in case you were slightly interested uh, I'm going to show you how because I'm slightly anally retentive um, how I do my cabbage to fit in as much as possible uh, I won't do the whole thing don't worry um, but there is method to my madness so I get my thickest bits as quickly as I can and I just do the edges of but because I've separated these already I don't really have to worry about anything falling between gaps or anything like that but I just form an edge that I don't have to worry about. And then once that's done, then in the middle, I just do that. I don't worry about it too much. I just don't like wasted edges. It irritates me. But um, once the edges are done in, they're going to be in for about 12 hours anyway. Ta -da! I think that's about right. So I do ladle it quite thickly. finished and now about getting these washed I know that there's about probably one head here so with one head and these are small so I'll count that as one two Three. three goes with that and three large um, three large grated very large grated carrots we're doing these um, two different ways today this is the traditional way that I normally do it you grab you oh, have we got the light on so it's a bit dark in here today so we grab this we get two fingers either side and you just push it in yeah and with these little ones just push it in yeah. and that way when so if I'm at an inner park I'll push it in I'll break it up And then you just bash this out in the bin 
because that just comes off and you can just bash this in the bin. It's such an easy way to open a pepper. Anyway, so once you put, you know, for the sake of here, um, we'd cut up, take that out, and uh, I'm not worried about the, now, because these are quite little, I'm actually going to cut these up, because they're quite the small bits, I, I am actually going to cut these up quite small because you want everything to match together, don't you? No one wants to have a huge, large chunk of one thing and then everything else be small. And then I'm going to add salt to this and let it turn into uh, almost the beginning of a a ferment so there you go and once I've finished doing these I'll start with the big project of dehydrating um, my peppers for soups and stews and fun things like ramen noodles and just Chinese food in general and if I have some leftover that I want then I will be just dehydrating them as teeny little teeny little jewels of colour a heap teaspoon a heap tablespoon rather just gonna give it a little bit of a stir now I should like crunch around with it, but I don't think my cuticles can take it at the moment. So I'm just going to stir it for now until I add the carrots. But I am going to put a cover on this so we don't get any flies. But I am not going to put it in the fridge overnight um, when I've got time to can it later. Just gonna leave it out with a cover on it. So here is where we decide when you look at um, the pepper size that you want. You know what size of pepper do you want? So for my ramen, um, for soups and stews, I am going to want. Probably somewhere in the middle of that so but I'll, I'll leave that for now but probably a little bit bigger so yeah so that so you know when you get these like that I'd, I'd want kind of half of that and that would be about my size so guess what that's the size that we're going to dehydrate um, because anything smaller I would not like to have and so for every one that I do with one colour I'm going to do with the green Nice big sizes for those stews and ramen noodle dishes because this size is what I'm going to want for omelettes, for I don't know, putting in cream dishes would be nice. Um, Chinese fried rice dishes, that sort of thing. Putting in sauces, but I just I just crave in in the winter. 
I crave more vegetables and I crave them larger and more chunkier and I didn't do it last year and I wish I had when the prices of these were cheaper right so um, it's the next day I put I added the julian carrots it was steeping in the salt and seal the liquid there which we're going to use um, I'm going to water bath these and I'm going to add some uh, just a tablespoon of vinegar in with it and I think these are about 500 milliliter uh, jars but this is great for let me wash my hands hold on These are great for, uh, I mean you can dehydrate this, but the reason why I like this ingredient to be canned is just because um, they're fantastic. Dehydration I find is great when the ingredients you're using will be cooked and heated up and put like in a soup or stew, where this it won't be. This will be uh, can be put in sandwiches. It can be put in uh, sort of wraps. And so for me, I I quite, I quite like the idea of um, always having it canned, and then having the separate ingredients dehydrated. It it just to me it works really well uh, and works better that way. Right, so while they're doing their bit, um, I'm just going to show you my dehydrated uh, cabbage. So it's got to snap. So did you hear that? Um, the size, I mean, it's quite magical. I was explaining this to somebody the other day and they looked at me like I was mad. Do you remember how large those bits were? And look how little it's come out as but absolutely perfect and I've got three of them so those... okay so here's my big reveal uh, really happy with it I have uh, my mixed peppers here which are little teeny jewels that I can add into loads of different dishes so I'm happy with that I've got here an example it's just an example of a ramen mix for me that there, there will be other things but uh, I've got um, the carrots and the really large size chunks of uh, bell peppers with large pieces of cabbage um, I've got my three Polish cabbage I mean I say please anybody from Poland I'm really sorry I just call it Polish cabbage uh, which has got exactly the same ingredients but um, shredded carrots um, well shredded everything actually peppers uh, cabbage and carrots and I've got three of them and then just a bit of uh, an explanation uh, about the ramen cabbage mix I've done them small so if anything untoward was to happen to one I've still got five others because um, sometimes you do you've got to be so careful but because the cabbage was really thick I really feel like I've done a good job and hopefully nothing will go wrong with it um, because they're really thick uh, cabbage uh, sort of veins inside of it but I feel confident but the reason why I've done it in smaller sizes is because there is, is possibly, go oh, I don't know, 20 meals just in this one little envelope. Um, and so I, I want as less air in contact with my cabbage as much as po possible, which is why with my uh, Bonson, what's it called? A Bonson Kitchen V 
VS2-1000, um, I've used the VAX button where I can control how much air gets sucked out because if you were to just get this and um, blast it with the normal dry button, these would all just crack and then instead of having large cabbage pieces, I might as well have just shredded it, hey. So that's why with this um, I've done it very gently and also make sure that you always put down the reason not just okay it's cabbage but just to remind yourself exactly what it's for because if you're like me and you you you're cutting up vegetables for a certain reason then you need to remind yourself what the reason is for because when you look at something dehydrated you it won't just don't trust your memory <laughs> but anyway I managed to do five of these um, and you've got to put them somewhere where they're not going to be crushed so this needs to be put on top of something uh, rather than at the bottom of a pile of dehydrated food make sure you put it somewhere let's say um, with with a certain with you know you could put it with the ramen mix that you have but just put it on the top of something rather so it doesn't get crushed in any form all right um i hope you enjoyed this little quick video it's fairly short for me and um i hope you're inspired okay bye from the uk